Hi guys, this is Corso, the Review Tech, and today we're reviewing the Insignia Pico Projector. Stay tuned! Okay guys, so the way we started this review, it was by charging our projector until you see the green indicating LED light that is fully charged. This took around three and a half to four hours guys, so a little bit of a long way there to get it to full charge. Now this projector claims that it can last up to 100 minutes in a single charge, which is true guys. So I'm going to be playing a video right here, it's a time lapse, it gives me an 102 minutes of battery life, which is quite impressive considering that this little guy is only 2 inches guys. This little guy is only 2 inches, you're going to see right now, it's only 2 inches. So it's impressive to get a hundred minutes of battery life out of this little guy. Now, connectivity wise, this projector is really good if you own an Android device because Insignia provides you with a micro USB cable to the projector, also an HDMI cable to the projector, and they also give you the 5 to 11 pin adapter and the female HDMI. Now, I've been using this projector with my Chromecast and it's really easy guys, you just have to plug your uh, male HDMI to the female and then just plug it to your uh, projector and you'll be able to use it like that. The only downside to this is that this Chromecast doesn't pair with any Bluetooth speakers and this projector does need to be used with a Bluetooth speaker because it comes with a speaker but the speaker is really low guys. The speaker is almost useless so you do need to get a Bluetooth speaker to use with your projector so you can enjoy better movie and audio at the same time. If you have an Apple device, then you're gonna have to get the cables necessary to go to your Apple device because Insignia only provides you with the cables for Android. Okay guys, so Insignia claims that this project up to 80 inches of screen size, which is true, but the true about it is if you go up to 80, you're, gonna, you're not gonna get a really good quality picture, but if you go up to 55, that's a great quality to enjoy this little guy. Now, this projector only comes with 55 lumens. What does that mean? 55 lumens is really only good to use in dark environments. So I want uh, to record a video, guys, on my room with all the lights turned off, and you guys are gonna see it right here. That's how the, the, the projector is gonna display if the room is completely dark. Now, if you have a couple lights on in your room, I also record video, you can see right here too, and that's how your projector is gonna look when you have a couple lights on. So again, this projector only comes with 50 lumens, which means it's really low, so you really need to use it in only dark rooms. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna explain the resolution. Even though this device is HDMI capable or compatible, that doesn't mean this device is gonna reproduce HDMI contents. So just keep that in mind, even though you're getting HDMI connectors and cables, that doesn't mean you're gonna get an HDMI video quality coming out of this little projector. What you're gonna get is 360p. If you guys are not familiar with that kind of quality, you can go to YouTube and just click on the um, settings and go to quality and click 360p so you can get a better idea what kind of picture you're gonna get out of this. It's good, but if you really like HDMI quality video, you won't get it on this little guy right here. Hey guys, so this is my review about the Insignia Portable Pico Projector. This is Corso, the review tech. If you like my video, please like and subscribe, and I see you on the next episode.